All right, here we are on a part three of this uh, custom header rack slash uh, utility rack, light rack, whatever you want to call it. Um, so basically, what I've done so far is the 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 flag mounting uh, for the pole itself. Uh, I, I had to use one of the parts off of that, which is everything was going to be reconfigured anyway because it was going to interfere with the pole and the way everything was. So I'm actually going to have the pole on the back part of this uh, this rack. I actually, it's going to be a bracket. It's still going to have the mounting, uh, the front mounting on the, you know, on the front of the flag, on the bottom of the pole, but the lean to it is still going to be adjustable, uh, but it, it's going to have an angle to it regardless. So um, basically, I had to get one of these, uh, I forgot how the thickness of it, the diameter wall of the wall but I had to get one of these parts uh, square tubing it's pretty thick it's pretty heavy duty um, and I had to cut them in sections so these are where the lights are gonna mount and the reason why I have these is for one is uh, aesthetic for aesthetics uh, meaning to to make it look a little bit more appealing, a little bit nicer, and also it helps bring the level of the light up a little bit more, so that I have a better. Uh, so the illumination will be closer to the front of the truck, even though I mean that's what the headlights are for, but it's still giving a little bit more range of light, and um, you know it's going to be easier to mount the lights on like this anyway. Uh, I went ahead and tacked these on. I have six lights that are going on top. Some people might say that the lights are going to be looking are looking too small. And some some people are going to be they look perfect. But I mean, I wanted more of a smooth, you know, a so, little bit more in a subtle look. With as far as the lights, I didn't want you know huge six inch lights. I mean, that that's you know I, was, I wanted to keep it kind of kind of old school look, but somewhat new school I guess I guess you would call that so uh, what I'm gonna have to do with these parts is I'm gonna have to deburr them not only burrs but they have these sharp edges I don't know if you can see that on the inside uh, I have my rotary tool I'm gonna go ahead and go around the edges of them these are tech welded I'm gonna go ahead and tech weld this one on here in a second All right, y'all, one thing I forgot to mention uh, before I started adding these little cubes right here was this angle iron that I have right here. It's the same thing that I have uh, for the railings of the bed. And um, it was a piece that I just had uh, extra and intentionally extra. So <clears throat> this this part is the one that's going to... Uh, actually, right now, you can, of course, you can take it off. But this part is going to be the one that's going to flip the lights back. Um... And I bought some hinges from Tractor Supply Company because nowhere else sells them. So you want to find weld on hinges, you better hit up Tractor Supply Company for those. Um, and they're pretty good. They have a lot of different sizes. Uh, I went with the second to the largest, I guess, beefiest one, I guess. Uh, but I, I don't need to go real beefy with, with this because, you know, every little thing is going to add weight to this truck. And, uh, I mean, then I might have to add horsepower and the wife ain't going to be too happy about that. Spending extra money on stuff. But, uh, we'll get there later. Um, so let me show you the hinges that I got. Alright, here they go. Um, not extremely beefy, but they are, they do have a little weight to them. I'll show you where they're going in a minute. Uh, two of them. There's the part number. There are four inches, of course. But two of them actually cost uh, right around, after taxes and everything, it's going to be about 13 bucks. But 
basically these where these are gonna go right here so one of them is gonna go right here and it's gonna weld on to the bottom like that so hope y'all kind of get the idea of where we're going with this All right, y'all, my camera was kind of uh, acting iffy, so skipped a couple parts, but that's fine. Uh, hope y'all don't mind. Um, so, went ahead and welded this on all the way, and now you could actually see how uh, it's going to be working. So, whenever I need to use the utility rack, I could just flip these lights under like that, and... There we go, y'all see? But I need to go ahead and add some uh, some little attachments right here to be able to lock this down so it doesn't, whenever I go over train tracks or anything, it doesn't just flop everywhere. And uh, I'm gonna try to use some kind of pins. If not, I'll just go ahead and use some screws uh, for to, you know, so I'm gonna make some small brackets with some holes in them maybe just use the bolt going through them to lock them down I'm not sure yet and also what I've done that y'all missed um, went ahead and put these middle parts I don't have the mesh on me but eventually I want to put mesh all the way across well actually on this side and on the other side so that's what we have so far all right, here it is so far what I've got. Uh, went ahead and um, welded these down right here. But what I'm gonna have to do now is I'm gonna have to make some some tie-in brackets. Just I'm just gonna make two tie-in brackets so uh, this will be able to lock down pretty secure. So that's what I'm gonna be working on right now and. I kind of making the shape of them right now. That's what I'm about to work on. Hopefully everything goes pretty good. But this is going to be annoying, I already know. Alright. Alright, y'all, here it is. We're going to go ahead and close this video out. But just before I do, just letting y'all see the progress that I have. I already have everything welded down pretty good. I just need to clean up some stuff. I have a whole lot of clean to do with this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and, you see these tabs? Went ahead and went with the bolts, drilled the holes, everything that I needed, lined them up. Um, just, I just need to shave this off so it could look just like this one. Uh, there's some stuff, a lot of cleaning up. Um, gonna go ahead and grind this down some. Um, but it's pretty, pretty thick metal and uh this, this thing is gonna last a long time but after this uh part four will include uh mounting this to the truck i was gonna wait and paint it but as y'all can kind of see it's uh it's been prepped and it's been painted i need to add two more coats to it uh the only reason why i didn't add that to the video on part four is because I had a lot of things going on last night all of a sudden. Um, 
grandbaby came over, so I had to hurry up and uh, clean it up, prep it for paint, and actually put a coat last night. I just put a coat this morning. Uh, this is the next day. And, uh, well, part four will include the installation of this thing. I'm going to go ahead and put this on Rhino. It is pretty heavy. Uh, I'm guesstimated about 350 pounds, maybe 400. I haven't, you know what, I haven't even, uh, yeah, I haven't picked it up by myself. But i um, probably going to have both of my sons help me with putting this on the truck. <clears throat> Next step away from gaming for a couple minutes for that. Um, so... Basically on part four, what I'm gonna include is the installation of this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and install the lights. I'm gonna start running the the wires to the cab. I did buy a six switch uh, rocker panel for it, um, which my whole setup, just to let y'all know, my whole setup is gonna be the front bumper. I have four lights. Uh, that's one switch. The roof lights, which is gonna be the roof rack. Well, this rack light. Uh, that's going to be a second switch third switch is going to be the lights on the back facing the rear uh then i'm gonna have a switch for the right side some lights facing that way a switch for the left side facing that way and uh i gotta figure out what oh the uh, uh accent lights because yeah i got some halo lights <laughs> Some halo lights for this rack. Y'all yeah, see it whenever. Uh, Y'all see it whenever I turn them on, uh, or maybe in the next video I'll just let you check them out real quick. There's some some little cheap eBay uh, halo lights. They weren't that expensive. They were pretty on the cheap side, but I mean we're trying to keep this within budget, so we did have to go uh, a little on the cheap route on some things, but. As far as electrical wires and everything goes, and the, the rack itself, um, we didn't go the cheap route. We went the, eh, I guess the modest route, I guess. Which uh, everything wasn't super cheap and it wasn't super expensive. Um, it was just okay. But we'll go ahead and close this video out and uh, start prepping for part four already.